Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry. We're painting one stroke painting today. Now what I like about wildflowers is that we can do all these strokes with just this flat brush using a chisel edge. Okay, so for one thing, it's really pretty just to come in and pick up, let's say magenta is a pretty color. We're going to pick up white and magenta. Now when I'm doing the magenta, or most of my colors, I'm going to, instead of doing half and half when I double load, I'm going to have two-thirds the deepest color and one-third the white or the light yellow, whichever color we're going to use. Okay, now I want you to see, there's a couple of different flowers that I like doing with this. First, we're going to do a wildflower, like a stock flower. And so I start with one, and this is right up on the chisel. See, I'm standing straight up, and I'm pulling. I walk this from left to right as I walk across. All right. And we bring it down. I even go over my leaf sometimes. That's okay. It's not okay if you spend a long time doing a pretty leaf. But now I'm going to put a short one here. I've got a tall one. Oops, I want the center, and then I'm going to add these little guys on the side. Okay, so this has two of the pink, so remember my triangle. So let's go over here, and let's do a thistle-looking one, where I'm pulling on the chisel again, but I'm going to stand this one here, and I'm going to flip, flip, flip. Now what happened on the thistle, I mean the wildflower, stock flower, is I pull the stroke down. This I'm flipping up. I don't flip the brush very often, but this makes it really nice. So now I've gone around, makes the thistle really nice. Okay, now if I get muddy, I'm a little muddy there, I can come in with and um, flip the brush. I got fresh white, and I can flip the brush. Look how pretty that makes that. That's a really simple stroke, and we'll attach it with the green, all right? And then let's turn around. So here's my triangle. So your eye, it makes it really nice for your eye to see this color come up like that. So right here, let's do a daisy, a pink daisy. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to do a clock. So here's where I want my centers. If you do that, that kind of helps you sometimes. And then you're going to touch, lean towards where you're headed. My handle straight up and down, and I'm going to pull. All right, so there's 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock. 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Then we're going to slice the pie in between. Now this is the, the key to making these daisies look really good, guys, is that we push here and then we lift. And we want to see light in the center. We want it really nice and skinny. So I can do shorter ones in between. What I want you to know, though, is if you want smaller daisies, you go down to a smaller brush. So you can do an eight or a six and make it smaller. So see, those are gonna be fun. And we're gonna take the handle of the brush and do a dip dot center, all right? Or you can do multiple centers, multiple dots. I thought my finger put this pink pot there. <laughs> I put that dot there for you guys. All right, also I want you to see, if you turn this brush around, see you can go all the way around, but what people have a harder time is trying to make sure that they have enough and they don't get carried away with these petals and go all over the place. So, see, so you, can, you can flip it same color, but the layout of the cloth makes it nice. Because then I always have a nice shaped daisy. Okay. One off the edge here. All right, same brush, different colors. I mean, same colors. I'm just going to put dip dot on those. Okay, so there's our three, 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 three.